Jam Trader. Now the piss closed here at 2.30. That was about 15 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only. I recommendation to buy, sell a stock my ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil. We have a tick chart, a 1, a 5, and a 15-minute chart. Now, this was coming off really, really nicely. It was holding the 200-day, and then, pow, right to the upside. Okay, look at here. Right to the upside. Right to the upside. Lucky, fortunately, I'm at the old desk. Look at I could ca I caught that trade. So I'm long here on the UCO uh, from uh, 20, uh, 34, 34.50 exactly. You're sitting at 35.57. Now, the reason crude oil uh, uh, went up here right now is the CIA just uh, came over the news, global news here, that they warned Israel that Iran will attack the country in the next 48 hours. Okay, so you can see where crude oil rallied up and the market just tanked like a stone. Look at that market coming off. Ba-boom, coming right on down here, okay? So that was the reason crude uh, uh, is, is rallying up here. Now, whether it's going to happen or not, we're going to have to see. But again, if it does, that's going to be major, major disruption here in the crude business, and crude oil will go higher. So I just want to show you here, so when you're sitting at your desk here and you see, look at these charts, and all of a sudden you can start seeing it running, you got to jump in, man. And once you start breaking out above all these key resistance levels, man, you got to get in. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, here we have your daily and your weekly, one at top of the other. Now, okay, look at this. So... Green candle, this was coming off, made a lower low, looked like a red candle. Okay, so I said, man, just watch out here for yesterday's lows. You need to close uh, above that, 84.85. Okay, and then what we want to do is we wanted to watch the top of this candle. That's at 84.49. And then the bottom of this candle at 85.50. And then we want to watch this key level, this 83.79. And then we wanted to watch the top. This is Friday's candle, 83.21. And then 83.12. But you can see how this candle just reversed and then put in a nice big green candle. And now you close at the top. So I'm long and I'm staying long because if this pans out, this works out here like this going to here, man, this could go much, much higher. Okay. So now our next level here, what we want to look at is since we're now above this key uh, 85.90, real time uh, crude right now is 87.18. So what we want to do is we want to keep looking up here. What do we have? Okay. So you got 87.75. That's going to be next. Then what we have, you have 88.33. Um, you had 88.57. Uh, then what we've got here is you've got 89.54. And then this is the number we're looking for. This is that 89.85. Let's just call that 86 level. So look how we're getting close to it now. Now, again, if we can go above all that. Uh, wait, I got the wrong one here. I keep doing that. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, uh, when we go above this here level here, this is that uh, 89.95 uh, here. Then the next target, big target we're looking for is 92.43, and then we have your 95.03. Uh, These are going to be your upside targets here if we can start keep right on running up and we can break right through this uh, 89.95, uh, 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 85 level here, which basically, let's just call that 86 level, okay? So if we can break above the 86, then what we want to do is you want to look at that 92.43 and then 95.03 uh, here on the upside. So when we look at the weekly chart, this looking very, very good. Okay, so what we have here, you're above your key 100-day, 82.87. Doesn't look like any problems stay hanging in there. And then what we do is we just follow these candles right on up here. Okay, so what do we have here? You got your uh, 88.29. We have uh, uh, 89.85. That's the one we're looking for. We'll just call that 80. I'll call that 90 flat, and then we can just work yourself on up here. There's that 92.43, and then we have right here, this is your 95.03 on your retest. Now, again, if you can pop up there, I mean, look where this high can go. You can go all the way up here to 123, and then again, let me just uh, take that down a little bit, um, where you can go, look at their big target is 130.50, okay? So I don't know if we're going to get all the way there, but then again, when you've got these things of war, you know, only only God knows what's going to be, be happening here with all this. So, okay, so what we want to do on the downside is you want to watch uh, uh, yesterday's high. Okay, so that's going to be 86.20. Okay, and then what we do is we watch the next day's high. That's 85.50, and then we'll come here to, to uh, uh, yesterday's uh, low. 
that's 84.85. And then today's low at 84.64. Uh, then we can just start working this down. That 84.49, we have your 83.85. And then we're looking for the key level, which would be your 83.78. Okay, so uh, very, very bullish. 8 SMA, 21 SMA, 50 day, everything is bottom left, upper right. Beautiful chart. Okay, once we had that series of lower highs and we had that nice bowl going on here at the rounded bottom, okay, when she's breaking out, she is breaking out. Now, this was trading here pretty good because we looked at the three candles, okay? So I sold out of my crude, crude position and then I got right back into the crude position today once I just happened to be right there at the right time. Uh, and then when they had the announcement, so you always want to have news. So I use a, a TOS, uh, Thinkorswim charts, and that comes uh, with uh, global news at no charge. And global news, in my opinion, is very uh, good. Now, there's also one out there is uh, Charlie from Benzinga. This guy is just totally awesome, okay? Now, uh, um, TD Ameritrade used to have Charlie, but then they got rid of that. They put in uh, global news here when they got taken over, okay? So, uh I don't know. So again, if you want to look at some really good news, it's global news. If you don't get that, look up Benzinga and uh, uh, Charlie's the guy on there. This guy is completely awesome. He's way always ahead of the game with every news out there, anything that's related. Okay. So if you need a good news source, that's it. So again, what we want to do is we want to watch today's high. That's at 87.22. Uh, and then we just follow the candle. The next one's going to be that 87.75. And then we just work yourself all the way up here until we can come to the top of there at 89.85 let's just call that 90 bucks okay so that's what we're looking for uh right there we already exceeded our target here of the 85.90 which is basically uh, uh you know your uh, 86 mark so now we're going to have to go to the next level and then possibly all the way up to that 95 level and then you could go right to hondo very very easily okay so got to stay really sharp on this okay let's take a look here at uh on natural gas Okay, natural gas is not participating in this uh, energy rally, okay? That's basically. Now, again, we're still holding this key level here. This is that 171, looking very, very good. Um, on your uh, daily chart here, well, you can see here, it's 50-day, very, very strong. Uh, you know, I already uh, told you this guy's a million times. you got to get above this 50 SMA. That's at 1.857. Now, as the future is open here today at 6 o'clock, this is going to come down farther. This 8 SMA here is running up here, so it's going to get pinched. Now, the question is, is it going to get pinched to the upside or to the downside? That there, we just don't know yet here, okay? So that's what we're going to be watching, uh, where the pinch is going to go, to the up or to the down. Usually, it goes to the up when you have these kind of like a bullish candles here because you already tried to get through there one, two, three times, and you already went through, but we got to see how this all shakes out. Now, right now, uh, natural gas is sitting at real time 1.774. So we look at this 8 SMA here. What are we sitting at? 1.772. So you're still above that key level of support. And then we look here at your 21 SMA, 1.75. Price is still above that. Looking good. And we're above this key level here, 1.7, uh, say 1.71. Okay. Now, again, if that's lost, we basically just come right here, 1.70. Uh, 1.686, there's your gap. On top of here, you have 1.675, there's your fill. If this is all lost, then it's 1.64. That's where you go, 1.64, and then retest maybe 1.589. Again, if that's all lost, then we come to the bottom of the candle, 1.575, uh, uh, and then we have 1.52. That's your big, big retest. But we got to see how this is all going to shake out. Right now, you're holding your 8 SMA here. Very, very good. And you're holding your 21-day, okay? <clears throat> and you're holding your 8 SMA here on your weekly chart. So that's all bullish. Just got to watch out what's going to happen as that 8-day rises and this 50-day comes down. Where is that price going to go? Is it going to pop up over that 50-day? If it does, then what we want to do is we want to look at yesterday's high, okay? That's that 1.836. And then we can follow the candles up here, 1.95. Your target up here, 1.98. And then your big target is two-point flat. Okay, so very, very simple trade here. Uh, the cold was actually a really good trade today. I did scalp it twice. I got five the first time, and I got seven or two the next time. So I got a total of seven points out of the KOLD. Now, the UNG, I bought the UNG at one point. Uh, I had 14.85. Uh, 
I left it left it on, and I got stopped out at a break even. So I made no money on UNG there today. It just was a big uh, break even trade. But I figured, hell, what the hell? You're not gaining or losing anything. So what, what's the difference? Just seemed, you know, you figured you're gonna risk it because you were holding this key eight SMA here in this 21 day. But I gotta put. I always put like a break even stop in there. Boom. Okay. So she took me out at break even. Uh, nothing. But anyway, I got the seven points on the KOLD, looking very good. UCO was a really good trade uh, for the crude oil there today, and I'm still holding the UCO long. I'm going to see how that's all going to shake out here for at, at um, the, when the futures open here. And tomorrow, I mean, who knows when you get up, what can happen? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to stay long here on the Okutsky. Okay, let's take a look here on the hourly and the four hour. Okay, hourly chart here, well, you know, I wanted that low, higher, low, higher, low, High, higher, high, higher, higher. That was a very, very nice pattern, but now she case she's coming off here, okay? But, big but, we're holding this key 200 SMA here, okay? 1.766, nice, very, very nice. You're holding that, and you're holding on a four-hour chart, you're holding the 1.77, which is your 50-day. If that's lost, you can come down to that 1.76, maybe to 1.74, and then we're going to come over here to this 1.70, which is the bottom of that candle, and then maybe right there. At 1.686. Then, if that's lost, we have right on top. You have the gap fill 1.649. Okay, so we got to see how this is all going to shake out. But right now, this isn't really looking that bad. As long as you hold that eight SMA, that 21 day SMA on that daily chart, this is doing okay. Okay, so just always remember that. And you're holding the 200 day here and the 50 day here. So yeah, let me just have some side eyes action. You need the catalyst for this here to go a little bit higher here. Now they're talking about. If Ukraine uh, want, needs some LNG, that they might start freeing up some more LNG to ship out to them there. That'd be a bullish scenario. That might be a catalyst. You know, really hot summer, something like that. Any kind of disruption is always bullish for a crude and for uh, natural gas. Just like we had the crude oil where she just ripped really, really high there today. Okay. So what we're looking at here is just watch this key level. On the upside, you want to watch that 8 SMA, 1.80, this 21 day, and then that 50 SMA. And then this big retest up here, all the way up here at 1.853. If you can get above that, well, then we look to the top of this candle. You're looking at 1.88 and then 1.90. Okay, so that is your upside. So right now, it doesn't look really that bad as long as you can hold this key 200 SMA here. So we got to see how it's going to go. I'm going to see how it is in the, the futures. Maybe do another scalp on UNG here. We got to see how this is all going to shake out. Okay, so remember, tomorrow on Friday, we have the rig count at 1 p.m. for oil and for natural gas. So we've got to see how that's going to shake out. And keep your eye on that news there, okay? If there is a bombing there, there's another war that's going to start up there. That's not going to be uh, good for, for people or for the economies, but it's going to be very, very bullish for the old crude oil. Okay, that's what I got. Thanks for watching.